All right, so here's the little plug that goes in the end of the, uh, the pieces of conduit. And this is just made out of some aluminum round bar that I had. And uh, I've turned my stock down to about, no, oh, seven, 780 thousandths, somewhere in there. Just rough turned it, got a bunch of material hogged off of it. So this piece is going to finish at about three quarters of an inch here, about five eighths of an inch here. This is about three quarters of an inch long and it's about an inch and a quarter overall. So, Benz, I've got seven of these to do and I'm not a machinist and I'm also prone to multiple interruptions. I've got my dial indicators here on my lathe and I made myself up a cheat sheet to make all of these the same because I'm a terrible machinist. I'm not a machinist. So you can see kind of my little step through that I do that to uh, get these all the same. And uh, we'll just run a part or two and uh, well, probably run one part, probably in super supersonic speed here and uh, go from there. And I'm going to reposition the camera so that you're looking pretty much straight down from the top because the camera is terribly in my way. I can't do nothing right now. Four thousandths over there, and this one doesn't even matter. Hmm. About eighteen thousandths over there. Don't really care about this diameter here. The only one that matters is this one because this has got to be smacked down inside of the conduit. Four thousandths. I can live with that. All right, then, I want to put a round over on the end of this. And I was thinking about just chamfering this off, but you know, this is for my wife and she lets me touch her no-no spots. So I wanted to do a little bit extra on this. So, you know, that Australian maniac that makes clocks, he'd probably make a, a, a free form or a, a form tool for this and spend three days grinding it and lapping it. And that German kid that is the prototype machinist, he'd make something on a deckel grinder or something, you know, from 1941. But I'm poor and stupid, so here's what I've got. I've got some uh, half inch shank uh, router bits for wood routers. And uh, these are really cheap. Uh, I, I really don't, I don't even remember why or how I got come about them, but this is like was five dollars for a set of twelve or fifteen, uh, so you can imagine the quality. But it does seem to work, and you know you can see I've uh, kind of squared up the cutting edge with the uh, tool holder here, 
I've had to leave a little bit more stick out than I would have liked in order to clear the jaws, but it, it works, works pretty good. Got to run at about 200, 250 RPM. Kind of be uh, cautious about your feed, but you know, I've only got seven of these things to do, so uh, it's not like we've got to make a production run of 5,000. So I'm not going to worry about the little tit that's left in the very center here. That's from where I parted it off. When I drive this in, it'll take care of that. It'll, it'll ding that enough that you'll never see that. The, the ugly from driving it in is much worse than, than anything else. I suppose if I was really fancy, I would make some, uh, make a drive tool that slipped up here and, but this is a, uh, clothesline. It's not a fine Swiss watch. <laughs> 